Hi everyone, I am Rakesh. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the syllabus, what is covered in the HVAC. Okay. Uh, what is covered in the HVAC, how it will be useful for your uh, career, how do you enhance your career. So we will discuss one of the course that is covered in the, what are the topics covered in the syllabus. Okay. So first is uh, introduction about the HVAC. What is HVAC? How it is used for the applications? Basically, so it is a small introduction about the subject. Okay. So next is the hierarchy of a project execution. Whenever you are executing any projects, you should know. Uh, you should be aware of it. Who is the client? Who is the consultant? Who is the MVP contractor? Okay. So a lot of coordination happen during the initial stage of the approvals. So in that time, you should be uh, aware of it. What level? HVAC guy is putting what level plumbing guy is putting so that a lot of coordination happen okay when you do any type of projects okay so for coordination point of view you should uh, coordinate with architect with structural okay all these things has to be done if you are going to design and consultant field <coughs> next is what all the physics used in HVAC it is a very basic introduction uh, subject as well uh, where what is tonnage, okay, uh, what is heat, what is tonnage, all these things come under, what is drive and temperature, all these things, what is very, very basics, uh, what is the system use here, okay. So basically, uh, physics used in HVC, what are the physics used, what is uh, tonnage, ton of refusion, what is the conversion, all this conversion you are using. <coughs> so it is vapor compression cycle. It is very important or uh, what all the system you see in HVC it works on vapor compression cycles, most of the uh, systems. Uh, so what are the different components we have? Uh, compressor, condenser, expansion, evaporator, how it operates, how it works. Okay. So here we'll give a brief introduction, a uh, brief description about the vapor compression cycle. Next comes heat transfer. The mode of heat transfer is conduction, convection, and radiations. Okay, these are the times, uh, things we are going to learn in the heat transfer. <coughs> the psychometric conditions. Uh, what is driver temperature? What is red temperature? Okay. Uh, what is relative humidity? What is the range? All these things. How to use the psychometric uh, chart? How to use psychometric software? Okay, from Asher or France. What are the ways uh, we have? Find out the psychometric condition of the particular location. Okay. Next is air condition system. Whether you are going for uh, all the type of system we just covered here, whether you are going for DRF system or, the, or you are going for chiller system, what type of chiller it is, what, whether it is water cooled chiller or air cooled chiller, what is the advantage of water cooled chiller, what is the advantage of air cooled chiller, where you use it, or you are going to use some package units. Okay, a ductable unit. Okay, where you are going for spit, window. So all these things difference. What is the difference between H and FCU? So all this thing is covered in this subject. <coughs> Next is whenever you start any project, you should do a building circuit. Okay, what is the latitude? What is the longitude of that particular location? Okay, uh, you should go through the architecture drawing. Okay, what is the number of floors? What is the uses? What is the applications? Then only you can process the process with the designers. Okay. So once you're uh, aware of it, all the systems and what is the material used, what type of bricks used, what type of glass used, single glaze, double glaze, all these things. Once you are aware of it, then you can start the load calculation, which is very important. Again, the load calculation is divided into two parts. Okay. One is manual load calculation, second is hack software. Okay. Manual load calculation, second is hack hourly. Uh, our analysis program, uh, software is 4.9, we have a different, different version of it, 5.1, uh, different, different version we have. So presently we have covered uh, 4.9. Okay. Then we have a duct designing. Uh, you can, uh, duct designing also we have two ways. One is manual uh, duct designing, second is through software, microwave uh, duct sizer. Okay, and after that we go for duct installation. What is the procedure for duct installation? Then chilled water piping. Okay. 
chiller or chiller on chill chiller plant to age whatever pipe you use what is the pipe size what is the pipe material okay that we'll discuss in the designing so here also we have two method one is manual method and one is software method then installation of the chiller pipes how we will install what is the insulation all this is in detail in detail it is covered okay next is chill water pipe see pump selection pump selection is very important whether you are going for what type of uh, all the type of pumps primary secondary uh, or tertiary different different types of pump so we'll discuss in that next is fan selection whether you are going for forward curve backward curve different different uh, types of uh, fan and where it will be used so that we we'll discuss it okay ventilation ventilation we have basement ventilation and we have staircase ventilation as, as well and we have a machine selection how to select the machine what is the tonnage and all these things that machine selection will be and we cover here automation bms system as well building management system and the case study of the office building residential project destination if it is a drafting <coughs> and the case study of uh, residential and commercial project as well these are the course uh, these are the things covered in this our syllabus if you are really interested to upgrade your skills and knowledge Definitely, you should join the course, and it is very helpful and very affordable course. Uh, the price is very minimal, and uh, all the students join this course because they want to upgrade the skills. If you are, if you want to upgrade your skills and knowledge, definitely you should join the course. Okay, and if you're first time to our channel, please subscribe the channel and like the video session. Thank you.